What's going on everyone? So today we have a bunch of parts on the table and we are going to be building this thing. This is a complete build as you can see already, but the other week we had this one put together. We crashed it really hard and we burnt the flight controller that was on it. It literally caught on fire. So I'll put a video of that on screen right now. Oh shit. So what we're gonna do is we're going to rebuild this one and as you can see we got all of our parts ready to go the motors the video transmitter system the receiver system and I still got the camera in the canopy and here we have our flight controller brand new in the package so yeah let's uh, let's build a drone I'm gonna start soldering on the board here We're pre-tinning the pads to get them ready to have wires put on. Alright, so here we have our frame and our motors. So we're going to start to mount the motors to the frame. And there's, of course, four in total. And there we go. That's one. And just like that, we have our four motors on the quad. So now comes one of the most pain in the butt parts, and that is feeding these little red things through the flight controller itself. Probably one of the most annoying things about building a drone. Looks like this one here might be a little easier to do because they are cut out on the side. Look at that. So easy. I've never had these things go in that easy. That is awesome. Now let's mount our flight controller on the drone. And as you can see, we got these little standoffs right here. And the flight controller will sit directly on those standoffs. Bing bada boom, just like that. That gives us a better base to work with once we start soldering our motor pads. And there we go. We have the motor pads tinned. So let's go ahead and put on the motors. 
now we will start connecting the motors to the pads. And just like that, one motor is done. Now we gotta do the rest. And just like that, I only have all four motors installed. Now what I am gonna do, and I actually should have done this at first, is we're gonna take the motors out and then we're gonna twist these wires. Now we have a lot of access wire and I like that just in case I wanna use these motors on a build in the future, but we can twist it and safely place it along these arms and uh, that'll give the wires a little bit more durability if the motor comes off in a crash. So we'll just take our wires here, twist the motor around a couple times, maybe once or twice. That'll give us a good twist. We can run right along our, our arms just like that, and we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and put this motor back on and do the same with the rest of them. And just like that, we've cleared up our wires. Now we're going to solder on our battery leads. Alright, so now that we got our motors installed and the power lead installed, we're going to come over to the computer and make sure the motors spin before we do anything else. And we got tones, so that's a good thing. We'll go into our flight control software on the computer and make sure our motors are spinning. It looks like all of our motors are spinning, so that is a good thing. We'll go ahead and disconnect and go back over to the bench to put the rest of the stuff on. Now we're gonna start installing the other wires to our board. Here we have the camera wire that attaches to our camera. And we're gonna quickly solder those. In this wire, I use the white as power, and I know it's kind of backwards, but it's just what I had in this connector, so white is actually our power lead for 5 volt. And then we will install the signal wire, lastly. And just like that, we have our camera wire installed. go ahead and twist it up because we still have the camera in the actual canopy so it will sit in just like that. Next we'll be taking our video transmitter and connecting it to the board. We've got to pre-tin pre this little section here. Alright, we got that pad pre tin ground wire and we will quickly solder it to the outside of this pad. Touch. And we'll take our power, which is our red wire. Do a 
quick touch to that pad here. We have power and ground installed. Next we will take our video in wire. Then we will take our smart audio wire. white wire right here. Just a quick touch and just like that we are soldered up. We have our video transmitter soldered up. Now we got one more thing and that is our receiver here. Taking our power wire and running it to our 5 volt pad right here. Quick touch. And we'll take our ground pad and run it to our ground pad here. And just like that, we have every component that we need installed on the drone. All right, so since we have everything connected, let's go ahead and do a power up and see if all of our components are working. All right, we got a green light on the receiver. Our VTX has lights, so that's working. And our camera's plugged in right here, but it's not quite connected. So yeah, everything appears to be working. All right, now that we got our camera connected, Let's see if we have video. Alright, we got video. Perfect. So now it is time to take this over to the computer and do some programming on the flight control software. Alright, so we set up everything we can on the software now. So before we go any further, we're going to do a test to make sure our motors spin when we flip this switch. All right, there we go. We're getting some spin. All right, now we're just putting the finishing touches on the quad and we'll be good to go. All right, and here we have the completed build next to the other one. So let's get out and rip this thing on the track. 